And we're back on the roof. Uh, so we got no heat call. This guy right here, they said it's not heating. It serves two sweets. Um, I feel a little bit of heat coming out of there. But he did mention that uh, he heard uh, the fan motor quit, like made some weird noise and ever since it hasn't been working. So maybe there's an issue with the blower. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's going on. So here we go. Filters are blasted. Uh, looks like they were changed in uh, November of 2022. So yeah, these need to get changed. What size are these? 2020, 1625, I believe. All right. All right. So here's the blower. Yeah, I think the motor's toast. Let's kill the power and see if this thing spins. Cause I don't know. It looks to me like maybe it broke. It's pretty hot. Yeah, so you can see under here. It looks like the hub separated from the wheel. So we're back the next day on this guy. This is the one with the dead wheel. Uh, so it snowed today. So yeah, you can see sketchy roof out there I literally have to slide down it um, <laughs> so anyway uh, we're gonna go ahead and change out this wheel and motor uh, so here's our connections here okay and then this looks like this is our run cap right here so we're gonna have to change that as well so yeah we're gonna make note of where what goes where and figure out what's you know what, what each wire is and then kind of go from there all right, so we're gonna go ahead and take this out. So first, we'll get rid of that ground wire. And we already pulled all our wires through. All right now, we need a three eighths. Take these out. And there's three of them. It looks like. take these 516 screws that go all the way around because this whole thing pops out uh, we leave the actual housing in there i might have to take the lid off now that i'm looking at it i don't know if it'll fit separate this uh, motor from the wheel. Right. And that's because we need to get that plate off. Because we are changing both, so I mean, I can see you guys saying, hey, why don't you just you know, throw the whole thing out, but I need that plate and I gotta get the hub off the wheel in order Get to it. Oh man, that is on there good. Good. Okay. Alright, wait, so we got the set screw broken. Actually, if I take the set screw all the way out. The hub will just pop through the dishes in here. And go. Maybe it won't. Alright, go. Cool. Yeah, you can see that's totally just gonzo. Right, we're grabbing it from the flat side. to do because the wheels are in the way. Hey, you can see that thing just popped right through there. All right, this is what we need. Now we need to get the belly band off.
right, cool. Oh, this is nice. It's got screws on there to hold the legs on. Why can't they all do that? That's sick. All right, anyway. Um, so let's see what these wires are. So brown and yellow is run cap. Purple is a line. And black and red is uh, speed taps. So let's go ahead and get our new motor mounted on here. We'll get our new wheel and get that all taken care of. And then one thing I do whenever I change these wheels, I save these set screws. That way, if you ever lose one, you got spare. Uh, so it's a 208, 230, um, fifth to three quarter. I may need to use the three quarter horse side of it. And by the way, if you guys are enjoying the, the tools I like and want to buy them, uh, there's a, you can always visit my Amazon store. I have them all nice and curated for you. And you can buy them through there. I get a small little commission. It helps the channel. And put on our belly band. And another trick that I like to do is I take a picture of the uh, wiring diagram on the side of the motor, just in case I need it for later. Um, just nice to have a reference to it because once you put that belly band on it, it's pretty much blocked. So just in case you forgot something, just nice little trick to do. Makes things easier on yourself. We gotta set it back into the uh now we have to set it inside the housing and make sure that it's it's fine uh make sure it's got good clearance and all that stuff it appears to be okay it's not hitting anything so i think we're all right as far as our alignment goes so we're gonna go ahead and align it a lot better um go from there okay we got our alignment much better doesn't appear to be hitting anything so yeah I think we're good to go cool so we're gonna go ahead and get this all mounted up and go from there all right so this is the old thing so it's not obviously not gonna fit so we're gonna take some of this plumber's tape and we'll make a new mount for it all right, we got her all wired up. We got our new cap in there. So this is line, this is high speed, this is park. Uh, we've capped off the extra speeds that we don't need. Uh, so we should be good to go. Uh, so yeah, I put I put new ends on. I just like, I prefer these plastic covered ones. I just feel like they're safer. Um, I keep one of these things and you know, just used uh, my strippers and my crimpers just to get that all on there. If you like these tools, uh, visit my Amazon store and you can get them for yourselves. So I get a little kickback to help support the channel. So if you're going to buy them anyway, get them through my store. Thanks for the support. Everything's installed. The only thing we have to check now is the uh, rotation, which I think it's okay. So I'm just cycle it on uh, and then see if it spins the correct direction. All right, cool. And then we'll, we got our new filters installed. Um, nice and white, not all black and plugged up. I mean, look at these things. Can't even see light through them. But uh, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and kick this thing on and then uh, see if it's going. Iron the hole. Oh yeah, that's where you can see it sucking in all the snow. Let's go ahead and turn that off. All right, we're gonna put the panels on and then we're gonna cycle heat, make sure it's all working and then uh, we'll be out of here. So anyway, she's all back up and running and they got heat again, so they're pretty happy about it. But uh, yeah, so uh, hopefully this helps you out. So uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And don't forget, if you like the tools I use, visit my store on Amazon. Thanks for watching.